What's good? <clears throat> What's good, YouTube? This your man, Spill Dog. Yo, man, I've been looking at these a lot of these new younger uh, champions out here now. Uh, Spence, Crawford, you know, Tank, Devin, uh, Shakur. It's a lot of good, good guys that's kind of, kind of, in some ways, mimicking uh, his early part of his career with the, you know, with the talent and success. But what these guys got, well, some of these dudes got to understand anyway. Uh, like just say for instance Terrence Crawford uh, and Devin Haney to some degree but it's not Devin's fault that he ain't fought these best guys dudes won't fight him uh, that's what it looked like from where I'm sitting at but I think he's gonna start getting these fights you know uh, Floyd Mayweather was real careful with his career but more so towards the end than in the beginning and then another thing people gotta understand uh, Floyd, Floyd had a granite chin Floyd could take a punch. Uh, I don't know. I, 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 you know, Crawford ain't showed me he got that kind of chin. And even after, and then he been in there with limited opposition to some degree as far as on the top level, you know. Uh, and 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 he'd have been, you know, kind of buzzed a few times, you know. Uh, you know, I've seen Shakur have problems with power, you know. And uh, that was something Floyd was telling Earl Spence when he was young, uh, around the time when they was in camp. I remember him saying he told Spence, some of these guys ain't getting knocked out. You got to be able to go 12 hard rounds. And he done, he seen that. He, he he found that out with Sean Porter. If he didn't never know it, Sean showed him that. But uh, I, I, I'm very interested to see what some of these guys going to do when they get in there with a guy that's on their level uh, that can punch, really. You know, because uh, that's, that's really – until you get these guys in the ring with somebody that got some pop on them punches, you really don't know what you're working with. I mean, yeah, I mean, you can see the skill, but can't, you know, you going to have to be able to take a good one on the chin, uh, and, and more than once when you, if you, if you really want to be that dude, you know, uh, now, you know, it's a little bit different than it was when Floyd and Roy and all them was coming up, uh, guys don't really have the same character, you know, uh, it don't bother these dudes to not fight the best, the sum up, you can, you can see that. You know, uh, if they can, if they, a lot of them, if they can dunk it and not have no real fight and get through their career. And with what I know about that CTE shit now, I, I, I'm, I'm a little more uh, on board with that to some degree because I didn't realize how many boxers was getting affected by that as well. You know, so, you know, uh, ain't nothing, you know, I can understand being smart, but at some point you got to face the best. You know, at some point you gotta face the best out there. Uh, if you wanna call yourself the best, you know you can't you can't fight you can't fight these bush league dudes or these or these uh, B level fighters and be thinking you're gonna be uh, looked at like Sugar Ray and Floyd and uh, and Roy Jones and some of these other other uh, old time greats. I don't give a shit what your record is. When people look at they, you know they can also look at the names on your record. And everybody know in every generation who was the main dogs. Everybody know that. And if you ain't got none of them on your resume, how in the hell can you be considered one of the best or even pound for pound? You know, uh, without them, without putting them, them, them real names on your resume. As at, at, and when they still relevant. You know, uh, this is why I think Spence want that Crawford fight so bad. And Bud don't seem to care if he get it or not. You know, uh, you know, be, and that's because they didn't gave him too many accolades uh, too early. It's almost like it, it's I, it, if I ain't know no better, I think the powers that be in boxing don't want this fight no more than uh Bud do. I'm, I'm just keeping it real, you know, because it's too much shit that keep jumping off that's getting in the way of that big uh career defining fight, you know, for uh for not even just both fighters. This generation, uh, and I mean this this decade of fighters, in general, as far as uh, in the lower divisions, this gonna say who really was that guy, you know. And uh, I don't think we are gonna get to fight. I really don't. I don't think uh, Crawford ever gonna fight Spence. I, I don't see it. Uh, I can't see how Al or Earl in good and good conscience could ever start negotiating with this dude again. I wouldn't. You know, he already abandoned ship one time. You know, shit, Earl, you making him more money. Just him being tied to your name is getting him more money. So, I mean, you know, 
he, he like he gonna ride this till the wheels fall off, you know. Uh, you know, I, I really hope Earl gets smart and just start going on with his career. In my opinion, a fight with Keith Thurman is a much better, more exciting fight anyway. I think Keith Thurman is a better fighter than uh I definitely got more power than uh I, I you know, than Bud at the welterweight division. I can't I can't give a guy the credit when he ain't fought the guys to get the credit from. I mean, I like Crawford uh, as far as a fighter. I ain't never been no fan of his because I don't care for his style, you know. Uh, but, I, you know, the, the talent is undeniable. I mean, you, you have to be blind to not be able to see the boy know how to fight. But can he, you know, uh, it, you know, skill is just half the battle. You know, uh, character, heart, all that kind of stuff play a part, you know, and, uh, I can't see how a person is this dog that Roy Jones want to say that he is, but don't want to take, but 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 ducking the biggest fight of his career. Dogs don't. That ain't how no dog roll. A dog, a dog gonna come get these dudes. You know, he not gonna leave nobody out there uh, acting like they better than him or saying that they can beat him. They gonna straighten that. He ain't thinking about that shit. You know, and I don't. You know, from from my point of view. You know, I don't blame him. I just wish he'd stop fronting. Uh, I know Earl will hurt that boy in there. He's not big enough. He's not big enough to fight. You're going to need to be bigger than Spence to beat him. It'll take somebody like Boots to really get in there and have a, a, a legitimate shot with Earl Spence because Boots is, a, is bigger than him, you know, is naturally bigger than him and, and got power in both hands because it's going to take something like that to keep this boy off of you, you know, uh... If Floyd couldn't keep him off of him, I know he'll make y'all think Crawford can. Floyd is the best boxer I ever seen in my life. You know, just pure boxer, offense, defense, skills, just the whole package. It ain't it ain't been one better than Floyd Mayweather. I don't I don't think so. I mean, you can think you can feel the way you want to feel about him, but that's 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 a bad boy. The boy can't fight. I mean, it's just that simple. And then he got. Then he got that dedication and that work ethic to go with it. You know, uh, I think that's what Keith Thurman missing. He got the ability without the work ethic. You know, uh, I just don't think he like, he seemed like the type that don't really like to train, you know. Uh, and I'm, I just want to see what it, what we're going to go with this division now. But what these guys got to understand, if they want to do what Floyd did, they got to really follow his, 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 his. his the print he left out, and the print he left out is you're going to have to take some tough fights. And to make a big pay-per-view fight, you need two names. You can't just have one guy. That's what Floyd tried to show y'all. You know, him and Canelo, him and Manny, him and Oscar De La Hoya. Those are the big fights because it was two big names. Ricky had he, Floyd to go get a dude with a whole country behind him. That's what you got to do if you want to be that dude, if you really want to make the big pay-per-view numbers. Floyd showed you how to do it, even in this climate. If you do it right, the numbers will, you will get the numbers. People want to see them type of fights. So when these guys stop, stop ducking smoke and start going and start going to the smoke, that's when, that's when, that's when you're going to really be able to stamp yourself. And Spence is one of the few ones that's out there doing it. You know, uh, I believe if they gave the big Benavidez a chance, I think he would be like that. And I think the young Charlo like that. Charlo, uh, young Charlo ain't fought nothing but, uh, champions. The, the last fights I seen him in, I ain't, you know, uh, I got a lot of respect for young Charlo too. The big Charlo, I like him, but, and I think he might be better than his brother, but he ain't fighting the right fights. Why? I, I, I couldn't tell you. You know, uh, I couldn't tell you. I don't know the business part of it. But from where I'm sitting at, you know, uh, I don't think we're going to ever get that spike, that fight with Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford. I'm hoping that we get the one with Earl and Keith Thurman. For me, that's a much better fight, you know, and a lot easier fight to make and a fight that needs to be made, in my opinion. You know, uh, I understand how Earl feel about Keith, but I hope he can put that aside and go ahead his big fight and, 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 and get Crawford the hell off his mind because the boy is not going to fight him. You know, uh, but that's it for me on this video. If you like the video, hit the like or subscribe. Till the next time, it's your boy Spill Dog. I'm out.